Meet Chris. Chris has Scottish and Irish ancestry. Chris moved to the city a year ago to attend college, but dropped out. His frequent drug and alcohol binges are distancing him from family and friends. He won't seek professional help. Chris works irregular hours at an asbestos removal company. When he works, the job pays well. His binge drinking began last summer, when a period of unemployment left him feeling depressed. Normally in healthy shape, Chris has gained weight over the last two years due to comfort eating and oversleeping. His dependency on alcohol and marijuana is growing. Chris worries about his drug use and the legal ramifications and finds it difficult to talk about. Chris uses alcohol to relieve his perceived stress. He has long blackouts and can't remember where he has been or what he's done. Chris struggled with school and began drinking alcohol in grade eight. At his city school, a reduced social network led to increased binging and his decision to withdraw. After drinking an unknown amount of beers, Chris collapsed in a snowbank. Finding him unconscious, friends called for paramedics. Paramedics delivered Chris to the hospital and informed the physician in attendance. Let's check Chris's condition. First, his chest, abdomen, and pelvis. Followed by his core temperature, extremities, heart rate, sinus rhythm, blood pressure, and blood sugar. After initial assessment and treatment, paramedics placed Chris on his side in the stretcher. Emergency room staff found track marks on his arm and administered Narcan to reverse a potential narcotic OD. Now stable, he'll be monitored for 16 hours. A social worker visits Chris and suggests help from local support agencies for his serious drug and alcohol problem. A psychiatric nurse assesses him for suicidal ideation and concludes he's not at risk. Chris is discharged without medication, with referrals to a community psychiatrist and a local drug and alcohol center. Chris must wait three months to see the psychiatrist. In his initial meeting at Forecast, the counselor helps Chris develop realistic strategies to cope with depression. Six weekly sessions are arranged.